Today I'm showing you some shots using the Metabones Speed Booster XL that allows you to fit a Canon EF lens onto a micro four thirds mount. So here's some shots with the Canon 70-200 f2.8. Keep in mind this ends up being about 90 to 256 mil in total length. For the calculation, you'd normally double the focal length of a lens on the GH5 to address the camera's crop factor, but then you need to multiply that by 0.64 for the speed booster. Or in other words, just multiply by 1.28. But for the f-stop though, you just multiply by 0.64. So for this particular lens, it uh, goes from an f2.8 down to an f1.8, which is really awesome. So you have two options of speed boosters for micro four thirds to Canon EF. Metabones recommends the XL if you're predominantly using full frame lenses, which is what I'm using, and the Ultra if you're looking to use APS-C type lenses. I've also tried out this speed booster with the Canon 16 to 35mm f2.8, giving you a really fast wide angle lens, and the Sigma Art 35mm 1.4, giving you a super sharp, almost 50mm kind of lens. The reason I chose to add a speed booster is because I'm trying to build out uh, a line of higher quality Canon L series and Sigma lenses for shooting short films and, and bigger video productions. You know, I've just always loved these lenses and coupling that with the GH5 body is really an unbeatable combo. I still have a few smaller Panasonic lenses such as the 12 to 35 f2.8 and the 25 mil 1.8, you know, just cause they're a lot smaller, lighter and easier to travel with. But I do like these bigger lenses for bigger productions. And also because the Canon EF mount is just a really good one that's you know, very easy to adapt to any camera in the future. I hope this has given you an insight on you know, what to expect from the Metabone Speed Booster XL on the GH5. But I'd love to know, what lenses or speed boosters do you use on the GH5? Let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in my next video.